Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring basic EIGRP with the IPv4. Here is our objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, configure EIGRP. In part 2, verify EIGRP routing. We will uh, go through the background. In this activity, we will implement a basic EIGRP configurations including network commands, passive interfaces and uh, disabling automatic summarization. We will then verify our EIGRP configuration using a variety of show commands and testing end-to-end -end connectivity. Coming to part 1, configure EIGRP. In that step 1, enable the EIGRP routing process. Enable the EIGRP routing process on each router using AS number as 1. The configuration for R1 is uh, shown. Here we can see that. Router EIGRP 1. What is the range of numbers that can be used for uh, uh, AS numbers? It's obviously from a, uh, 1 to 6, 5, 5, 3, 5. Uh, we can uh, check that while configuring uh, our EIGRP. First of all, we will come to R1, CLI, enable, here we are going to give a configure terminal and to router EIGRP, here we can see uh, autonomous system number is from 1265535, yes, so here we are going to give a 1 as specified. Now we will come to R2, CLI. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give router EIGRP1. Coming to R3. CLI. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give router EIGRP1. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Advertise directly connected networks. Uh, use the show IP root command to display the directly connected networks on each router. So how can you tell the differences between subnet addresses and uh, interface addresses? Right. So we will uh, give this a uh, show command on uh, all the routers. Coming to R1. Show IP root and here we can see the root. So here the subnets are identified with a C and uh, link addresses are identified with an L. Here we can see that. C and L, yes. Next is on each router, configure EIGRP to advertise the specific directly connected subnets. The configuration for R1 is shown. Here we can see that. Uh, they are given the networks. Uh, three networks here we can see. Coming to R1, here we can see that. That is 172.16.1.0. Here we can see 172.16.3.0. And uh, the third one is 192.168.10.4. Coming to the configuration on R1. Configure terminal. We will go to router EIGRP1. And now we will uh, give the network. 172.16.1.0 and here we can see the wildcard bits that is 0 .0 0.0.0.255 and now we will give the ne next network that is 172.16.3.0 and here we can see the wildcard bits that is 0 0.0.0.3 yes and the last network 192.168.10.4 and the wildcard bit 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 yes coming to R2 here we can see the directly connected networks uh, 172.16.2.0 slash 24 172.16.3.0 slash 30 and 192.168.10.8 slash 30 Right, we will configure this on R2. Coming to the configuration on R2, uh, we will give the first network 172.16.2.0 and here we can see the wildcard bits so that is 0 
255 coming to the next network 172.16.3.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 and the last network here is 192.168.10.8 and to the wildcard bit 0.0.0.3 yes coming to R3 here we can see uh, three directly connected networks uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 24 192.168.10.4 slash 30 and 10.8 slash 30 right we will configure on R3 now coming to the configuration here we are going to give the network 192.168.1.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.255 the next network is 192.168.10.4 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 and the last network 192.168.10.8 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 right now we will come to uh, step 3 configure passive interfaces configure the LAN interfaces to not advertise EIGRP updates the configurations for R1 is shown here we can see that passive interface then we have to specify the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can see that uh, this interface uh, on R1 gigabit ethernet uh, here we can see that 0 slash 0 yes coming to that configuration right here we are going to give a passive interface interface name is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and coming to R2 here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 which is going to uh, this LAN uh, this network 172.16.2.0 right so here we are going to configure that to passive interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and to coming to uh, R3 the passive interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 now we will come to uh, step 4 disable automatic summarization the topology contains uh, discontinuous networks therefore uh, disable automatic summarization on each router the configuration for R1 is shown here we can see that no auto summary so prior to iOS 15 auto summary had to be manually disabled right so we will uh, do this uh, automatic summarization now coming to R1 here we are going to give a no auto summary we will do it on R2 no auto summary coming to R3 no auto summary coming to step 5 uh, save the configurations all right we will do it on all the uh, routers copy running to startup coming to R2 enable copy running to startup and coming to the last router R3 copy running to startup yes now we will come to a part 2 verify EIGRP routing in that step 1 examine neighbor adjacencies uh, which command displays the neighbors discovered by EIGRP? Yes, we have the show command called the show IP EIGRP neighbors. So all three routers should have two neighbors listed. The output for R1 should look similar to the following. Here we can see that they given the output for R1. Coming to uh, step two, display the EIGRP routing protocol parameters what command displays the parameters and other information about the current state of any active IPv4 routing protocol processes configured on the router yes so here we have to use the show command show IP protocols so on R2 enter the command you listed for 2A 
and to answer the following questions that means we are going to give the show ip protocol command on r2 right so we will do that first coming to r2 cli right here we are going to give the show command show ip protocols and here we can see the details right coming to the first question uh, how many routers are sharing routing information with R2? Yes, here we can see that uh, two routers. Yes. And uh, where is this information located under? Yeah, here we can see that routing information uh, sources. Yes. And what is the maximum hop count? So if you come to this uh, show command, here we can see maximum hop count is 100. Now we will come to uh, step 3, verify end to end connectivity. PC1, PC2 and PC3 should now be able to ping each other. If not, troubleshoot your AIGRP configurations. Right, so we will try that. We will get the IP address of PC3. Here is the address. Coming to PC1, desktop, command prompt. Here we are going to ping to PC3. Here is the address oops yes so we are getting the replay now we will get the IP address of uh, PC2 here we can see that it's 2.10 coming to PC1 ping to PC2 yes we are getting the replay Yes, that's all in this packet tracer activity. Here we can see the completion status. It's 80 out of 80. So in this video, we have seen uh, how to configure a basic EIGRP with IPv4. And to finally, we verified EIGRP routing. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our Gmail. Bye-bye.